Okay, now let's do a different tutorial. In this case, I'm having a asset application here. And let's say I will need to add a look path so I can record like all of the notes and like communication that I can have regarded this asset. So in order to do that, then uh, what we will need to do is to create a new object uh, to store all of the note information like date and time and the, uh, some free text field to store the notes. And we we'll also need to add the new tab here with the new field in this screen. So we can do that with the application designer. And then we will need to write some Java class to enable some uh, basic behavior with the new object. So uh, the first thing we need to do is to create the new object and to add the tab here with the application designer first. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the database configuration application. Now I will need to create a new object. Let's call it um, set it to the side level and then I'm gonna add some attributes Now I'm gonna add a new field which is called the uh, asset number. So this field will install the asset number of the parent asset record. So this can be a foreign key. So in this case, I'm gonna set asset. And it's the same with the asset object. a new field to store the uh, date and time when we added a new log entry so I'm gonna call it log time so date and time and I'm gonna set a default value to use a system date And then for the log free text, then I'm going to use the existing description field. And I'm going to increase the length to maybe 1000 characters. And I'm going to save it. Now the next step for me is to add the relationship between this uh, child object, the log object, with the main parent asset object. So usually we need a two-way relationship. So let's all we can use. Uh, in this case, we only need one relationship, but I'm gonna do the standard practice by adding both relationship. So this one is pointing to the parent asset object. Now I'm going to the parent asset and I'm going to add a relationship to point to the new log object. So I'm going to 
is the unsaved slide here. Okay, I'm going to use the same white gloss. Now I'm gonna need to apply some new changes. Okay, it is completed. 